We here at SciShow love it when you ask us questions, so we'll have things to talk about and we get lots of great ideas that way. But then sometimes, something weird happens on the internet and our Twitter feed becomes completely unmanageable because the whole world is confused. This dress! What? What? To me, it is 100% without a doubt, clearly and absolutely white and gold. And according to this BuzzFeed poll that over 2 million people have taken, I am in the majority. And the majority is wrong. I'm Hank Green, and this is a very weird special edition of SciShow News. The dress is actually blue and black, and a lot of people see it that way as well. The difference between these groups of people probably isn't about rods and cones and how sensitive your eyes are, or whether you spent too much time staring at the sun, as some people have suggested. It's more likely simply a matter of your brain's interpretation of the data your eyes are sending. The picture has just awful white balance, messing up the colors of the dress. White balance is just a process that photographers, or people who make videos for a living, use to remove the influence of lighting on colors being captured, fixing it so that things that appear white in person also appear white in the image. Using that true white as the baseline, all of the other colors should also fall into place so that they look natural too. If you just pull the colors out of the picture and blow them up, it's neither white and gold or blue and black, it's kind of muddy, dingy purple and orange. So the amazing thing is that no one, no one, sees the dress as the color it actually is portrayed as in the picture. Our brains are super good at interpreting images and making sense of them even when they aren't accurately represented. We can look at a brown, faded old photograph from the 70s and understand what the colors beneath all of that degradation are. Sometimes we enjoy doing that so much that we use Instagram filters to actually intentionally mess up our pictures. Here's the weird thing though. Colors are never really themselves. Depending on the light source, white can actually look to our eyes like blue or orange or gray. Pure white is very uncomfortable common. Lighting, whether it's the sun or halogen, incandescent or fluorescent lights, change the colors of the things they illuminate. Our brains are great at perceiving the original colors underneath rather than the color that the eyes are actually seeing. If we couldn't do this, the world would be hugely confusing to us. We'd think things were changing color all the time instead of just the light changing color. Cameras have to figure out what white is based on something in the image and then interpreting the whole rest of the image based on what it decided white was. Here in the studio, we use this little card so that we can make sure we're balancing correctly and my skin doesn't look all green and gross. In the case of this miraculous photo of a dress, the camera did a terrible job of finding the white balance. So terrible that it's actually hit a weird threshold between how different people understand the image. Some brains see the white in the image as the light color, making the darker color gold. Other brains see the image as washed out with no white at all, so the dress is blue and black. Now the dress can't be seen both ways simultaneously, so whichever way your brain is more comfortable seeing it becomes the super obvious and objectively true way to perceive it. And this is really what it comes down to. Perception. Our brains make trillions of little subconscious decisions like this every day, but usually all humans make pretty much the same ones. This image is just really great at being in between two different potential interpretations. Why some people see it one way and not the other could be a function of any number of things objectively. Like, I'm not comfortable with any of the proposed hypotheses because none of them have have had any science done on them, because we've known about this for like 12 hours. But what's driving all the chatter online is that people have chosen up sides. Some people are on team gold white and others are on team black blue. They answer polls and they argue with each other in the comments and like, stop seeing what I don't see! That's because this whole thing is really an exercise in the study of perception, and psychologists will tell you that perception is largely about bias. And your biases can be framed by things like expectation. If you first saw the picture in some Facebook share with your friend saying, how could people not see that this dress is white and gold, then your expectations were already set, and you are more apt to see it as white and gold as well. And of course, we cherish our biases, so once you've seen the dress as black and blue, it gets increasingly hard with time to unsee it that way, especially the more people you're arguing with. So the deeper truth here is the one that we're at least comfortable accepting. Perception of reality is not the same thing as reality. Our brains are good at interpreting the world around us, but they are certainly not perfect. And we should be more comfortable with the idea that different people people perceive things differently. And once that perception happens, it's as real to them as ours is to us. Thanks for watching this very weird episode of SciShow News. If you want to keep getting smarter with us, you can go to youtube.com slash scishow and subscribe.